This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now inside the garage, and uh, behind me here you see that uh, sole we tested earlier that had so much degradation. 35% degradation is what I measured. So this time we're going to try Avilo. You guys remember the guys from Austria, sorry, not Germany. I think Austrians, they don't like to be called uh, Germans. <laughs> so, but we're going to test it on the same car uh, and we will see if we get the same result in Avilo versus my uh, measurement. And we can, I guess, double check to see if I still get 35% degradation or not. So the car has been charged 100%. It, there's been some small modification, we added the lead bar there, but on that, we haven't driven that much since last time, so we should be getting the same result, but here you see Avilo. So this is what it looks like. It's just a communication box with some uh, electronics and a SIM card, and it will communicate to the server. And then, yeah, I will show you, but there was a video earlier where, where I show some of the stuff. This is the first time I will use Avilo, so basically this is a device that you rent, you don't buy it, you just rent it. And then you can get um, a battery degradation test. So we will see how this device tests versus how I test. So here is the OBD port, we just plug it in there. Uh, I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to put this one, and a long cable and shit. I'll figure out something. And then we do the test, you guys know the drill. All right, I connected and the cable is long enough me to run it over there so it doesn't come in the way of my legs so actually nice and long cable I like it and then there's something going on here and then here's the email that uh, the owner Paul Skodjeborg forwarded to, to me so you see it says uh, I can quickly translate this uh, congratulations so you want to test the soul and then there's some instructions here what you have to do they, they, this is even in Norwegian so they tailor it for Norwegian customers uh, it tells you what you have to do uh, pl plug it in and then you have to go to the app. Well, it's not actually technically not an app, it's just a website. And then you, know, you see it says here that you, um, well, first you have to charge it to 100% and then within seven days you have to drive it down to 5%. I'm, I think I'm going for 2% uh, because Paul also did it uh, a test recently and it went to 2.5%. So 2% should be fairly safe. Um, yes, so let's see now. So actually, Paul, he looked at this and on a Soul Spy, and uh, earlier Soul Spy reported 79% state of health, which is uh, uh, not low enough for a big and how to uh, make a repair or fix or replacement. But now suddenly Soul Spy reports 64.9%, which corresponds to my test. I measured 35% uh, degradation or state of health 65%. I don't know why it suddenly shows different here because. The car hasn't driven that much since then. Uh, but anyway, so um, Paul has this link here. This is, I guess, the one you get from Avilo. So um, uh, you can just click on it. Wait, what? There. Yeah, I can tell you also, they don't sh mail you this one uh, in postal, no. He had to pick it up at one of the Viking service uh, places. Yes, yeah, so, uh, okay, anyway, here, here's the, <coughs> right. So now we just have to, okay, we have to fire up the car, yeah. So we we'll fire up the car. Well, are we plugged in? Okay, maybe I should unplug. Okay, let's do that. All right, we have 100%. So now uh, I guess, uh, I'm not sure if I have to wait for something here, I'm not sure. It says green there and it's blinking something, maybe communication is going on. Uh, and then here is the website you visit. And then I guess we just have to click, uh, well, can maybe I have to adjust here so we can see better. Yes, ready for the trip, go. Are you ready? I was born ready. Okay. Yeah, okay, they have some uh, double check. Uh, this one, that one, okay, it's start. Start the engine. Okay. Next, wait. Okay, the, yeah, we, we have already plugged in. Next. Um, okay, it says, do not start driving now. Okay, it will need two minutes to do some kind of initiation. We are in the garage, so I'm not sure if there is enough. Okay, we're oh, it's doing some. Okay, it's doing something. Okay, well, right, right, that's good. That's good. Nice progress bar here. Seventy-five percent done. You see, it found the wind, everything. It's it's already found out that you have hundred percent battery instead of charge. Okay, meanwhile, it's doing that. I guess I can uh, reset this one. 
there consumption i also need to reset the distance right at least i'm also ready so i will also do my own test here to see if it corresponds or not okay so now we have to wait again then it's doing something oi scheiße it's duck it's down to 99 percent uh um do i need to plug it in again now this is kind of clumsy and what, what is this thing you okay let, let's um let's plug it in again okay it's charging well it says 100 percent. i think we just have to charge a minute just to top up to 100 percent. so i'm not sure what's up with the avilo now we will um, we just disturbed the the sequence but uh, <laughs> hopefully they have progress it's done okay let's unplug Okay, we are 100 percent again but uh wait oh maybe i'm supposed to click on next here i'm not sure this is the first time i use it i guess next are you ready to try now well it says this okay make sure that the available box is uh, um connected during every trip because i have seven days to f finish this do not charge it when it's testing okay right right i understand start the test Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we just have to start driving then. We are on the move now. So this is like a dashboard that uh, we have here. Uh, it says 97%. Uh, it seems to be slightly lagged because we are already down to 96%, but close enough. So, all right, so the app will monitor how many percent we have. And uh, I guess now, yeah, by the way, so this device here, it doesn't do all the calculation itself. It's just a communication device. So it will then forward all the data to the server and the server holds all the big data and will do the crunching and figure out how much this battery has degraded. So um, now we just have to drive north a little while and then drive back here. We are passing by Klöfta now, the cleavage. And um, you see consumption since Oslo with some uphills it's actually 145 watt hour per kilometer, but it's 48, no, it's 24 degrees Celsius outside. So nice uh, driving conditions. We are down to 77%. So I'm um, not sure. Let me see. This state of charge scale is not linear, right? So I should turn around at, let's say, 60% or 55%. We are down to 58%. So I think it's time to bail out now. So we'll just turn around here at the Hurusate Kyrse and then go back to Oslo. So consumption so far is 149 watt hour per kilometer, uh, including some, yeah, I don't know if there's an over under reporting here, but also including some uphills on the way here. We are now at the Chem Power Charger at Haugerud, and uh, I wanted to go to 2%, but uh, I guess we'll stop at 5%, because uh, at 5% I got this uh, notification here on the website, Avilo test, that uh, they, are, they, are, they are finished, they're going to prepare the data and then email it to Paul, uh, the owner. So, all right, what I need to do now is check here. Uh, 140 watt hour per kilometer and then 103.7. So I will do the calculation myself also. Right, so uh, now we got the result from uh, the Avilo. Um, it took around two days before they sent us this uh, uh, certificate on email, but let me show you now. So in my test, I went to 5% since the Avilo also stopped at 5%. But then um, uh, Paul, he also tested earlier and then he went to 2.5%, which is actually better for the soul because towards the end, the percentage drops a little bit faster. So you see that I measured 15.3 kilowatt hour and then Paul measured only 14.7 which is more correct uh, and then um, if you assume 26 kilowatt hour because of some losses when it's new then uh, actually I calculate 43% degradation according to Paul's result and then 41% degradation on my result and then if you look at um, the certificate here you see that um, well, lots of data here this this one says 57 percent which is actually 43 percent degradation the same result as paul uh, managed to uh, measure and I, by the way the, the way paul measured would be exactly the same way i would measure so it would be if i would also measure it myself and here at least they count 27 kilowatt hour and they measured 15.4 uh, roughly 
Whereas uh, we measured 15, uh, no, no, yeah, we measured 14.7. So I'm not sure how they count this. If they count uh, losses or something, that could be it because somehow they managed to measure the exact same result as we did. Uh, but, but then using 27, not 26 kilowatt hour. And here you see some data. I didn't bother hooking up uh, the OBD uh, tool this time, uh, which is actually called uh, Car Scanner, by the way. Uh, battery, it sounds about right, but according to the other test I've done before, you see that the battery started kind of cold and then it heats up during the drive and the cell voltage and everything. And have yeah, so uh, I wonder, did they actually sign it? But maybe that's why it took two days because they have to electro electronically sign it now, but they're probably not doing that manually. Uh, and also, I want to show you that on the next page, wait, uh, here, yeah, on the next page, uh, this is in uh, Norwegian. Uh, which is very nice for uh, Norwegian since they don't maybe they don't want to read English But uh, anyway, I can uh, translate to you. It says here roughly. This is a good uh, presentation of uh, how how well or good or bad the battery is and uh, They say okay, they, they explain about some some uh, battery basics and they also show you the state of health and they show you the formula and so on and you see even the actual numbers are here not just uh, this is not just a template uh, without any uh, variables so they actually use all this stuff how to show you um, how it is with some tolerance and everything and then the test method they explain what it is and so on um, and what does yeah they also explain what all these uh, terms mean so this is very nice, really. Um, so at least for this test now, uh, it shows that Avilo was spot on with our method. Okay, so uh, we should try some more uh, measurements and see if we get the same result or not. By the way, uh, we measure it, uh, me and Paul, we measured our own tests, right? And then Avilo did their own test and me, uh, I did not communicate anything towards Avilo. So they managed to find the exact same result as we had as a coincidence. And by the way, uh, Paul, he went to uh, the dealership and then they did a new test of the battery and then suddenly the, the car's BMS reported 64.9 well, or 65% uh, state of health. Uh, it was higher before, but now suddenly it shows lower and also SoulSpy uh, reports 64.9%. So maybe the whole SoulSpy versus the BMS needs some time to uh, adjust. Uh, because last time it was within specification, it was not too low or, or high or whatever you see it. Uh, so they didn't want to replace the battery. But at least now it seems like, yes, yeah, at least Paul claims that uh, they will, he will get a new battery. So, right, that's, um, that's interesting, uh, which means that I guess if you suspect that something is wrong with your car, uh, it doesn't have to be a soul, but something else, you should try to maybe use the methods I've shown you before how to measure degradation, or you can use Avilo if you don't want to deal with that stuff. Uh, but I, I mean, Avilo is a more, uh, well, you get a certificate, right? It's more like a formal test and you can use this like solid proof because some car dealerships, they might not trust you if you say that, oh, I trusted myself. I follow some guy, some YouTube video, and uh, measured uh, degradation myself, rather than slapping down the certificate. Bam! You know this test signed by some uh, Germans. No wait, I mean some um, some Austrians, right? It's TUV uh, certified, so it should be better as solid proof that something is wrong with the battery. But it seems like if you go to the dealership and they test it themselves, then you can't always trust that one. Yeah, so remember to A, B, C, always be skeptic, yes. So I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.